Zimbabwean instrument called Mbira. Um, we use this instrument uh, to communicate with our God, which we call Musika Vanu. We play using our thumbs. See, this is our residential place, but we had to turn it to to be a art center because uh, we wanted to teach uh, our community what we do, what we know about uh, Zimbabwean culture, Zimbabwean music. So yeah, we just decided to turn it into art center. Now we have girls who are interested to learn how to play marimba, bira, dance, and they really love it. They, they, they appreciate it, and we are teaching them for free. You know, this thing is now like growing. We didn't think it's gonna grow like what it is right now. But we students do you have? We have 23 kids uh, totally all in all. And then we have ages between um, uh, 6 and, and 11 and then we have a teenager group which is um, between 14 and 17. And then oh, we also have a women's band, a women, all women. Are you in the women's band? <laughs> what inspired me to, to make these instruments here? That was after our tour in 2008 when we toured the USA with a Mbira outfit. And you know, when I get, uh, when, we, when we get there, I was surprised to see a lot of uh, Americans playing marimba and Mbiras. And that was a shock to me. Like there is a lot of groups who are doing Zimbabwean music in the States. So when I came back here, I was like, you know what? Uh, at the end, you're gonna buy these mirrors coming from the states, or buying these marimbas coming from the states. I need to do something for the community. I need to do something so that uh, uh, this this type of music it keeps growing, keeps existing here in Zimbabwe. So that's when I started to think of making uh, marimbas and mirrors at a higher level. Mm -hmm. 